hello there welcome to this new video of Swift for beginners and in this video we are going to design some of these elements here or the objects here and we are we are going to see how we can use this inspector to design as per our pre-built design which is this and uh, we are also going to learn about IV designables and we are going to use a little bit of code to you to make the design in iOS so let's jump right into it as we see that the input field we have is not as same as we have in the design so we are going to change that first we have to select this one and first thing we should be doing to that is to change the height so if I go to the size inspector you can see that all other options are enabled but the height section is not enabled so that I can change the height of this input field here so to, to first we, what we need we have to go to this element inspector and we have to go a little bit down and we have to disable the border for this okay the first thing we need to disable the border and then if we go back to this size inspector you can see that the size the height uh, section is enabled okay so let me change that height to around 50 okay this is this looks good and second thing what we need is to create a board create a, make it round edges so how we can do that to achieve this we can go to back to our inspector and we can go here and we can I can just remove it here and remove all these properties and to do that first, first we need to make these layers and we have to write a little bit of code here to make this element understand that we are going to add a round radius or corner radius to this element to do that we can type we can click on this plus button and we can type layer layer dot corner capital R V D radius and we can change the type to number and we can double click on this value and we can make it like 10 okay so if we do that you see there is no effect on this whatever code we are going to type in this area is only going to be affected when we are going to launch our app in the simulator and whatever like if I type border and give it a number like one or maybe size this is correct values the, all of these values are correct but they are on, only going to be affected and you won't be able to see it in the real time it is only going to be affected when we are going to launch the application on simulator or the device now to avoid that or if you want to see the life changes of these kind of elements and these kind of properties right into your Xcode uh, Xcode gives you a special go through for this which is called IB designables for that you have to make a make a Swift file and in that file we have to write some code so that we can make uh, we can see all of our changes here to do that first uh, we need to go into our file manager and sorry we need to go to our file manager and we need to create a new simple empty file which we will call which will be the type of swift file but before doing that i would always like to arrange all of my code in different sections or folders so that I can go sometimes and 
understand and find my code find my files easily okay so before doing that we can make a new folder which is which is called here new group and we can call it design ables and now in this folder we can do right click or double tap we can make a new file it would be a swift file and next and we can give it a name whatever we want we can make it UI text field design able and we can save that file so in that file first what we need to do is to remove this import and we can remove UI kit because these are UI elements is a UI means user interface elements so all of the properties all of the libraries all of the classes are be connected with UI elements now we have to make a class here and we can but the name of the class should be the exact name of the file so the name of the file is also here we can copy paste here and now if we go back to our storyboard we are going to be interacting with UI text field so here we have to tell this class that we are going to be directly interacting with UI text field and we can add brackets here just do whatever I am doing right now and we can just continue here like that and in this class okay this is a very simple code and class here this class uh, we, uh, the computer will do not uh, computer do not understand that this class will be con uh, interacting with the main IB design cut, 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 cut. And this class and top of this class we need to add at the rate IP designable now to add some code here I have a very good resource here if you go to this website and uh, if you go to down this section this is a boilerplate code just to save time and what do we need that we need to add corner radius so we can select this code and put it here okay now our file is ready now how to use this file these new configurations with our UI element so select this UI element go to this inspector class inspector and here we have to pass this class for to this uh, to this UI element so this we can we name this class as UI text field designable you, see, you can see that the designables starts updating and now if I go to my inspector you see I see, see one extra field here corner radius and we can just skip the radius here for like two you can see the effect already starts came I think 5 would be enough we need the border border color we do not need that and we can do the same for this UI element also we can use the same designable so why it's not getting affected on this one okay that's because we forgot to remove the border okay and we need to change the height for this one also for 50 so our text field and we can send the corner radius to 5 so you can see that the design looks a bit same now to this one second thing we also have to do this for this login button 
so that we can go to the inspector here and size inspector and we can change the height for this button we can use the same file the same file for this button also because this is also a UI element but the problem is we have defined and we have set this file specifically for UI text field so this file won't be properly working for the button also what we can do we can add comma and we can add UI button also here but the problem would be that if later we are we want to change the radius only for this one or this one or anything else we have to add some extra code this will be coming on for button also what we can do for now we can use the same file or we can duplicate this file and add more files we can just change we can copy this we can copy this we can here we can select a new file we can name the file as UI button designable we can change this to UI kit we can add class we can add our code here we can add the name of the class from copying from the top and we can set it to UI button okay now we can save this file we can go to storyboards and go to this button button designable okay so we have this radius and we can set the radius to 5 As you can see that uh, we have added the as you can see that we have added the file for this button, the designable file, the but the effects are not happening. That is because that we forgot to add this at the rate IB designable. Without this line this storyboard and this inspector cannot understand that this is a designable file so it is going to be updating you can see that our design is here we can use this design same for this also these elements also UI text field design and we can go to inspector and we can do it 5 and uh, we can change the border we can set the height to 50 and we can go back to inspector and the background color should be white do the same for this one or we can just remove them and duplicate this two times and for this button we can go here and we can set the size to 50 we can add our file here UI designable and we can set the radius to 5 the second thing we are going to do and we are going to constrain all of these elements now constraining all of these elements will be a little tricky because these are two these are a lot of elements plus they are on different places so let's just first uh, let me explain to you why it's so tricky and oh, in the next video we'll be looking what is the better way to do this in this video what we can do we can start with this one that we can add it to like this we can add this one also like this and we can simply add this one to
like this. And we have a lot of these items that we have to add. Now you can see that we have to so this is only for designables and now you understand that this the, these designables can be used for various purposes and we can use this for many many properties like this view this logins uh, this uh, label and many other objects in here you can go google it and you can go to official website of apple and or swift there you can see that how or for which which area we can use these design labels are not limited for corner radius and multiple things these design labels can be used for many other complex tasks but most of the elements are already been listed in your uh, element inspector so you don't have to worry most about designable but many new developers struggles with designing things like this and specifically UI text field so I have to make this a specific course for you so you don't have to struggle for this thank you see you in the next video